3, it is given that 0 up to pi over 2 and tangent theta is equal to 3. Without using right angle triangle, so if we are using so charta, we will get the answer, right? <laughs> Find the value of sine theta and cos theta. So we should try to see what formula do we have and what can we do which can relate tangent, sine and cos. So here we see here, So here, tangent square theta plus 1 is equal to secant square theta. So we know that secant is equal to, secant is equal to 1 over cos square theta, right? So tangent square theta, so here we have tangent theta square plus 1 is equal to 1 over cos square theta. So tangent theta is equal to 3. So this one is 3 square plus 1 is equal to 1 over cos square theta. So, this one is 10 is equal to 1 over cos square theta. So, here cos square theta is equal to, so we change place, right? So, here we get 1 over 10. So, cos theta is equal to third. So, we see here this one is, you bring it to the other side, 1 over 10. So, we know that third 1 over third 10 because third 1 is 1. So, we get third 1, 1 over third 10. So, this one is cos. So here we know that cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1. Where sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta which is equal to 1 minus cos square theta is 1 over 10. So here we get 9 over 10. So here, this is sine square right? So we have sine theta is equal to third 9 over 10 which is equal to third 9 divided by third 10 which is 3 over set then this one and there is another one here so we know that there's always few ways to do this so as long as you use even if you use another way but if you get the same answer then it's supposed to be correct Anyway, anyway, I'm going to show you another way. <laughs> another way. Alright, so here we see a tangent theta 3, right? So, where is another option? So, we know that we have. So, we have another cotangent square theta plus 1 is equal to cosecant square theta, right? Where we know that from cosecant, we can get sine. Because cosecant square theta is equal to 1 over sine square theta. So, from here also, we can get sine. So here, cotangent square theta plus 1 is equal to cosecant square theta. So cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent square theta plus 1 is equal to cosecant is 1 over sine square theta. This is 1 over tangent square theta is tangent theta square plus 1 is equal to 1 over sine square theta. So here... 1 over tangent theta is 3, right? 3 square plus 1 is equal to 1 over sine square theta. Oh, this one is quite long. Never mind. 1 over 9 plus 1 is equal to 1 over sine square theta. So, this one is actually 9 over 9 or you get 10 over 9 is equal to 1 over sine square theta. Then, you can get sine square theta is equal to, so you change place, this one, this one. 9 over 10. So, sine theta is equal to third 9 over 10. So, here you get third 9 over third 10 which is equal to 3 over third 10. So, you see here it is equal. So, there's few ways. So, from sine you can find your cos using sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Then you can get your cos like the same way I did before.